Previously on building Benny's movie park. Then it's time to add a bunch of detail. Let me add some palm trees right here. Add some barrels to really, really, really spice it up. As you can see, and then I guess we can do something like this for the actual windows. Ooh, I like the way that looks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this brand new episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2. Today, we are going to finally build inwards the park. Inwards the... What? First though, as you can see, I added some staff members. We have uh, we have Mike right here, Patricia, Felicia. That's like a discount version of myself. And all these stalls have one as well. Beautiful. Now let's get straight into it. As you may remember, this is where we left off last time. It is going to be absolutely insane from here. First, I want to make sure this whole area is one layer lower than it is now. I don't know why, but I feel like it would be a nice effect if it kind of goes down right after the entrance. And this is going to be a tad tricky, but I will first try and sort of uh, make sure you guys understand what I'm trying to do. On both of these sides, I'm going to have stairs going up. Not a lot, just a little bit like so. Nice and symmetrical. And then right below here, it is going to go all around a lake and here we kind of have to determine where the lake is going to be and where the path around it is going to be actually maybe it's easier to first make this whole area a bit higher instead so that we get a better idea of what the landscape around is going to look like as well because this whole area is going to be quite a bit higher than the rest and as you expected the same thing on the other side let's already put some stairs up here so we have that finished i also think that will kind of give the shape already as right now it all seems a bit random i guess we could start by making uh, like an edge right here then determining a middle of the lake and then from there we can kind of make it round using the same uh, technique we've been using all this time really there you go ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a beautiful half circle i say half circle because it's not going to be a full uh, circle i guess that makes why did I even say that? Well, at least right now we do know where this has to end. So let's kind of go all around the edge and uh, change this. And right here, it kind of goes back to the right again, maybe. I don't know. And here, ladies and gentlemen, it goes straight back again. Or maybe just have it closed like this and later we can add the building. That's fine. Uh, let's remove these because we don't need those anymore. Then the moment of truth. Let's put in some water. There you go. Wow, look at that. That is looking very nice for sure. Now, first, let's go ahead and make some bath right here. All of this should be bath. I'm also going to make some stairs here, but that's uh, that's a problem for in a sec. There you go, all the way to this edge here. The path is going to go alongside this lake, and uh, we kind of just have to determine how, how wide it's going to be, I guess. Three-ish shouldn't be too bad. Then right here, this is going to be stairs. People can walk over this one so they can actually access this. I will just make sure to put the stairs on top of it. And just like this, I'll finish this entire staircase stair thing stairs and little fences around them as well very nice with a few horizontal bars and that is looking pretty good now if we turn around we can see this is not looking so great quite literally all we have to do is fill this up using these cuboids this is going to be an insane amount of work uh kill me now guys this is pretty freaking boring work so i guess we can just you know work on this as we move through the park right now we are pretty much only working on the entrance so we can just ditch it for now let's see what are we going to do now these corners right here seem to me like a pretty freaking great place to put some trees and with trees in this case i mean bushes that are made from trees as you can clearly see there are definitely some similarities between this and benny's movie park one but it is just all a bit different and a bit more established and Established? Dude, I have barely even started and my English is already starting to break down. Fantastic. These rocks, however, should probably be this lighter color so that matches with everything here. Of course, some bushes are also in order. Very, very cool. There you go. On the stairs here, we also need some of these, of course, to make sure people can actually hold something while walking up the stairs. And then some more of these trees right here to kind of fill up this, uh, this little corner here so we can move on to the right if we want to. And a little more rocks right here as well to kind of spice this up on the side here it's going to go up 
pretty freaking rapidly. As you can see, this whole thing is going to be higher. And then in between, there are going to be stairs up. I don't even know anything really that we need in the moment. For now, however, let's make this the same height as the rest. Then paint all of it rock because that's way better than grass. See, this already instantly gives some shape to the whole thing. That is what I was looking for. Now, you may be wondering, Benny, where is the merch shop and the main restaurant? That is going to be right here. Basically, it's going to be the same height as this and it's going to be uh, pretty freaking big. Everything above here is going to literally just going to sit on top of it. That way we can be very efficient with space and that's exactly what we need because we have a ton of stuff to build in total. Then on this side, I'm going to do a very similar thing as the other side, except the rocks are going to be a bit taller here. Look, I'm going to be using a bunch of these guys to really make this go pretty high up. And maybe for these, this lighter color will do nicely to kind of break the standardness of these rocks. And another row of these up here. I mean, it's, it's nothing new at this point. To be fair, it hasn't been in like six months but whatever it's fine okay that is looking pretty freaking great so far then we need some trees since we have to kind of cover up this area we need to uh, use the big ones because uh you know those are very nice even though we've seen a ton of these already in benny's gold rush i'm just gonna add some more because they are simply amazing also because then we have even more variety on this entrance this entrance just has to be all over the place it has to be then some of these small ones as well cannot miss these and also a few more bushes right here to really finish it up this kind of feels like a colder landscape as if it's super freaking icy here maybe what if we add some crystals in here some nicely colored maybe even blue is is pretty good already like a very icy blue color like that without it i feel like this is just a bit too plain and boring we don't want plain and boring that is a crime ladies and gentlemen there you go Yes, 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 I like that. We can also, for no reason at all, put some pots here. I don't know why, it just seems like it fits pretty nicely. So now I think both sides are pretty much uh, done, I would say. Now I just wanna make sure on the back of this board it says goodbye or it was nice having you, something like that. Let's see if it's loaded already. See you next time. And there you go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is very nice. Okay, well then if we move in here, let's see what's what's next. Let's work on the restaurant, but first make this whole area a bit higher as well so we can see what we got to work with. Yes, and then maybe right here, there's gonna be some other sort of building, maybe an indoor right, like a small flat right in here. I don't know. Okay, now let's work on this restaurant for a sec. First, let's put a floor in here to kind of see the shape of the restaurant emerge. The entrance is gonna be on this axis, which is gonna look pretty freaking insane, I think. Now let's go and start uh, using these, I guess, and do something like this. I'm not sure what this is gonna be yet. It's gonna be quite random like that and then we can give it this very tropical kind of look let's make all of this concrete i guess we can just try some different stuff i'm adding a bunch of these different bars to kind of hold up this whole structure and a bunch of these to sort of uh, stitch it together like that see that is pretty nice i also want that nice detail on the roof there you go that really finishes it up nicely then let's go ahead and extend this wall because we kind of have to start making the actual building not just the entrance and this is where it starts going straight again now how high shall we make this i guess just all the way up here like this then here we can make a bunch of these nice arches which i think is going to look very nice just wait for it then these could serve as extra doors or frames somehow we are also going to need some windows let's see that looks pretty nice then to split the two levels up in uh, well two let's add a bar which will be wooden like the rest there you go here i'm adding some nice balconies to these windows because i feel like that's the only thing that lacks right now Ooh, this is starting to look nice i don't know about you guys but i think this is looking pretty good so far for the roof is going to be a bit tricky but i guess something like oh something like that is actually pretty much fine and in this corner here we can add a tiny little bell very cute let's make that uh, bronze why do i feel like this would be a much nicer color for this building <sighs> let's paint it <laughs> without any light this is pretty freaking boring so let's go ahead and add some of these we can match the color of the metal as well there you go look at that that is a hundred times better at least if you use these props in weird creative ways you can make such nice things with them for example this barrel that just works now this entire thing i'm gonna have to build right here as well and i will literally die i'm not sure if it's gonna be exactly the same but it's gonna be pretty freaking close so i guess i'll see you when it's done in a few years uh goodbye Two 
thousand years later and there you go this right here is going to be something else like i said earlier but uh for now i mean this looks pretty good i did add some more detail here and there like these uh, these swords right here some of these bolts and the roof looks pretty nice right now as well now all i still want outside of this is a nice rope fence and just like this that should work fine there you go for each pole i'm adding a nice base like this talk about detail now inside it ain't gonna be super detailed but as you can see i do want to add some tables in front of these windows here that's going to be a bit more difficult because these are on grid of course but i guess we can just uh kind of do it like this i guess should be fine i totally did not forget about the inside wall there you go beautiful the interior is going to be relatively simple i don't want to go too crazy because otherwise you know the file size is going to absolutely blow up. I do, however, want to do something, of course. So I'm just making these wooden supports here. Also, a very good idea to add a roof. I mean, seems logical. Then some of these horizontal bars. It's quite repetitive, but quite nice either way. I'm also adding some hanging lamps because it's pretty freaking dark. As you can see, I think something like this is pretty nice, like four of them. Some barrels as decoration on the wall, I don't see why not. And right here, I'm gonna make a very, very, very simple kitchen sort of thing, because otherwise it's, uh, you know, doesn't make a ton of sense. So let's go ahead and make uh, the most basic structure ever, just like so. Beautiful. And then in here, there is uh, supposedly a bunch of food lying around that you can grab. Very nice, it's like a buffet. And here, a bunch of fridges where you can get your drinks i don't even know guys let's put a bunch of cans in here there you go some glass in front of it and there you go beautiful this is actually already too detailed because i just said i wasn't gonna make it detailed anyway uh then i guess for the kitchen that's fine it's not too too great in here but i guess it's fine because i don't want to you know sacrifice other rides for stuff like this on to the next thing I'm gonna grab some more of these very light rocks from right here and put these down here because without it this corner looks very strange we don't want that let's just kind of finish this up neatly and again some of these higher ones very nice some bushes at the very top again you know what it is and some of these subtle crystals again there you go pretty good or maybe actually this color is a bit better since that matches the building a, a lot better actually and the crystals will just make gold instead there you go then i'm also making a fence so people don't trespass over this weird rocky area and what if on these spots we put some fountains because it's very empty uh, yeah yeah that's better the design is quite boring though so i'm gonna spice it up just a tad by adding some stuff around it then to add some different effects as you can see i added another water emitter on top of that so every now and then it now goes higher it can actually go as high as we want there you go that is i mean that's very high pretty sure everyone gets wet from that forget what i just said i could also do a bunch of sequencer stuff but to be completely fair with you i don't feel like doing that besides this is quite nice as well then trash cans let's place one down right here and kind of see what colors we want just all over the place and then the last thing for today are lampposts or lanterns or whatever you want to call it this right here is going to be a base and we're just gonna have to add a bunch of cool details to make that look very nice for example let me try this and some sensors as well some of this is inspired by Acuity, 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 I don't know, this, that guy. Then another one of these right here on top. And there is the actual light like this. And then these two little arms will go to the ones on the side. Gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen. However, maybe this brown color looks a bit more stylish and uh, nice. So I'm just going to go for this. There you go. I love that. Also, the lights themselves should probably be maybe more this kind of color just a tint warmer like that yes and that thing i now have to make a bunch of times uh, around this lake i'm not sure yet how many but i guess as we go along we will add some more for now at least i made one to six of these poles and i think they look pretty freaking great uh for now then i guess that is pretty much it because we've done a bunch of stuff i do really like the way this turned out on top it's still empty but that's because we're probably gonna build over this so i have no idea what that's gonna look like yet however this also means the next episode we can start the first ride. Now, a few ideas I already have are alien. I am definitely going to make an alien dark ride. That's going to be sick. And also, I want to do some Lord of the Rings stuff, possibly something with Smaug. And then, obviously, guys, I'm going to do some Marvel-related stuff because you guys have just been asking for it so much. <sighs>
But then for today, that's it. If you like this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. And then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Benny's Movie Park.